your sound is in the, in the back, in your back as well. In the back. We don't, no, no, no one really comments on that too much, yeah. in the back. And it's, it's, you know, it's in your diaphragm. In the diaphragm, but yeah, sure. We, we learn that, but not so much in the, in the back. So yeah. it's good to think about. Well, it was, it was a really quick thing you said, but um, it was all that made all the difference in the world. And, and you, you, you demonstrated it earlier is when we scrunch our face, which a lot of us do. I think a lot of players, whether it's natural or organic, we do that and we scrunch our face. No. And, and that, that brings our, our head down, it brings yeah. our neck down, it, it, it closes everything off. And you, you said um, just the exact opposite. In fact, your eyebrows were up and you're lifting your eyebrows, which lifted your head, which lifted your body. Yeah. Just this idea of opening everything up right. and, not, and not scrunching. So when see, we catch when ourselves scrunching. When you go to see Sonny Rollins, you know, he plays up here. Yeah. Lou Tobacken plays up here. Yeah. You know, to let the sound out. Yeah, absolutely. Now, it is, diff it is a little more difficult, it seems, to do that on the baritone, just because of uh, the instrument itself. Can you ever do that? really getting your horn up, or is that kind of demanding for a... No, I always play with my horn up. I, t I, I put my, the, the weight on my thumb. I hold it with my thumb, mm -hmm. and also with the E flat key. I play a lot with the E flat key, Keeping and between down. your thumb and the E flat key, mm -hmm. you know, you can you get a hold of it, right? And take the weight off your neck. Mm -hmm. I've tried to play with a harness, but I can't. I've got about six different baritone harnesses mm -hmm. at home, and I can't play with any of them because you're playing the baritone around here. Yeah. It's already cutting it off. Yes. Cutting off the sound because I can feel here. It's all tight here, right. and but you don't want that. Right. You got to play it here. <laughs> you know, you got to let the sound out. Quick question, just about vibrato. Um, is that largely coming from Harry Carney? Your approach? No. The vibrato is me. Thank you. <laughs> the, yeah, absolutely. And uh, you know, I we did a concert at Lincoln Center, and the conductor famous conductor, he said to me, don't with play with vibrato. Nobody plays with vibrato anymore. And I thought, what, are you crazy? You know, tell that to Itzhak Feldman or James Galway. Yeah. You know? Sure. Vibrato is a personal thing. Yeah. <laughs> that the warmth do you think but that I'm not doing right. you know right but at one oh, time no. people used to say uh, Glenn Miller's band they play Moonlight Serenade and four beats to a vibrato so mm. you play <laughs> you know you're playing like that right. but that's not a vibrato <laughs> play without vibrato sure. if you want me to, but I don't want to play with without vibrato yeah, it's because it's a personal thing. It's Absolutely. your own vibrato. Yeah. Do you think that's the warmth that Winston and the fellow uh, orchestra uh, members? has a lot to do with warmth, it, yeah. yeah. And mm -hmm. the cellist, you see the cellist, you know, playing with vibrato. Sure. Yeah. And, and again, it comes back to the vocal quality. Unfortunately, a lot of people think vibrato is corny, you know, but it's only their vibrato that's corny. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely, because I mean, it's, it's not corny when we when we. Well, hear well you have to let the music breathe, you know. Yeah. When you're playing a ballad, you have to let it breathe. I want to thank you. This has been this has been quite a, a privilege for me to get to kind of pick your brain and, <laughs> and just My hear pleasure. you play and play with you. Um, would you want to play one more tune on our way out? Yeah. Yeah. How, could, could we play "Sophisticated Lady"? Yeah. That'd be wonderful. Thank you. <laughs>
Thank you.